Let the battle begin. The Raven Lord has sent his forces to conquer the world. In its defense, it has called forth the Champions of Azeroth, Sanctuary, and the Corprulu Sector. They battle endlessly, for in this world, death is merely a setback. The only hope for the Nexus is... There is a division among the Protoss of the Caprulu sector. While the majority worship what is known as the Kala, a psionic link allowing individual Protoss to share their thoughts, there are those that value their independence and reject this link. These Dark Templar wield the powers of the Void and become masters of stealth, and though they may strike from the shadows, by no means do they lack the courage to stand in the light. Our hero is the leader of the Dark Templar, Zeratul. Zeratul is the first to reintroduce the Dark Templar to the rest of the universe. While away from their homeworld of Shock Ross on a mission, he noticed a psionic signal coming from the planet Char. Seeking to end the expansion of the Zerg Swarm, whose base of operations was Char, Zeratul investigated this signal, and on Char he met two other personalities of the Caprulu Sector, the Protoss Executor Tassadar, and the human James Raynor. Though Tassadar and Zeratul did not get along well at first, due to the mutual distrust between the followers of the Kala and the Dark Templar, the two eventually started working together against the Zerg. Zeratul and his forces were the only ones capable of destroying the Zerg chain of command, though doing so created a psionic link between him and the ruler of the swarm itself, the Overmind. From this, the Overmind learned the location of the Protoss homeworld of Ayr, forcing the Dark Templar and Tassadar to work together to save their planet. While the battle for Ayr went poorly, the Protoss managed to temporarily halt the Zerg invasion, thanks to Tassadar sacrificing himself to slay the Overmind. The Swarm, however, had already succeeded in killing the majority of the Protoss, and left Ayr uninhabitable. It was Zeratul then who proposed that the remaining Protoss take refuge on the Dark Templar world of Shock Ross. And while initial tensions were high between the two sects, Zeratul and the others managed to secure at least some form of cooperation between the two. However, the war against the Zerg was far from over. Following the Overmind's death, two factions appeared, vying for control over the swarm. One was led by the second Overmind, a pale imitation of the first, and the other by the infested Terran, Sarah Kerrigan. Kerrigan managed to manipulate the then leader of the Dark Templar, Matriarch Razagal, into unwittingly assisting her in this civil war. Eventually forced to slay his beloved leader, Zeratul thus became the new leader of the Dark Templar. Soon afterwards, he stumbled upon a former servant of Kerrigan, experimenting in creating a Protoss Zerg hybrid. Although Zeratul managed to destroy those creatures, the discovery troubled him deeply and he afterwards went into a self-imposed exile in order to learn more of them. Now, Zeratul travels from world to world, trying to bring the Protoss, Zerg, and Terrans together in order to stop the apocalyptic future he has witnessed in his exile. The Dark Templar are perhaps the stealthiest warriors in the galaxy, and Zeratul best epitomizes this. Permanently stealthed out of combat, his preferred method of action is to sneak up behind his enemies, where he can unleash his power. After he is finished, Zeratul can use his blink ability to teleport a short distance away, 
allowing for a quick escape, or to finish off a weakened enemy. When he gains enough experience, he can either start a Shadow Assault, greatly increasing his efficiency for a short time, or use a Void Prison to trap targets. Always watch your back when Zeratul is nearby. We hope you've enjoyed this look into Zeratul's history and his role in Heroes of the Storm. For more information on the game, check out the Eye of the Storm podcast right here on youtube.com forward slash the smoking gamer.